All right, ladies and gentlemen, hope you're having a fantastic start to your week. We got some new news, courtesy of my boy Sat Chief, who is a fellow YouTuber. He makes a lot of Dragon Quest content as well. I believe he's in Japan right now. So be sure to give him a follow on, on Twitter or subscribe to his YouTube channel. I'll put the link to his YouTube channel down below. But uh, yeah, he has been posting some updates. Of course, Twitter is a great place for news and updates. It's one of the quickest places to get that information. But if you don't want to have to risk the absolute hellscape of Twitter, feel free to subscribe to the YouTube channel here to get your news here on YouTube instead of having to journey through the vast hellscape of Twitter. We've got some new screenshots here from Dragon Quest 3 Issue 2D Remake. This says, today is a very important day. It's the day you'll meet the king, basically. And it shows, as uh, Sack Chief has pointed out, the main character here is wearing pajamas. Now there were some costumes in the Super Famicom remake and the, uh, I believe even the Switch remake that would have you change your hero's appearance, but they were very far and few between. There was maybe like two or three. So my hopes is that when you get like the auroral armor, what would eventually come to be known as Erdrich's armor in the later games in the series, I hope you actually get to see the hero sprite wearing this armor because I don't think there's actually a game other than like the Dragon Quest X event where you actually get to see the hero wearing Erdrick's armor on the as like a sprite and stuff like that. So I'm super excited. Hopefully, hopefully we actually get to see him wearing quote unquote Erdrick's armor in this game once you attain all the pieces that will eventually become known as Erdrick's armor. Next, let's take a look at this one. It looks like this is when you meet uh, Kandar and his friends, the the band of thieves. I know he goes by a, d a bunch of different names now. There's Kandar. I think he goes by like Robin or something in some of the games. But anyways, I I know him most as Kandar. Uh, he's the green dude, the buff the buff jacked dude. I made a sick meme of him a long time ago. He's kind of a regular mob now in uh, the Dragon Quest series, but this was his origin here in Dragon Quest Three. It was, it's a, one of the most memorable fights for me anyways, especially early on in Dragon Quest 3. And then we've just got a little scene from battle, and we've got a town. I bet this is Japan, because they're talking about there used to be a couple of skilled uh, blacksmiths living here, and then you can see the character in the background in the cherry blossoms having that Japanese, distinct Japanese look to them, so... The inside of one of the caves. I I remember this location, but I don't remember. I think this... Oh, man, I don't want to spoil stuff, but I, I think I know where this place is. Uh, it has to do with uh, Forbidden Love. Let's just say that. I don't I don't want to spoil it for people who haven't played Dragon Quest III, but I, I recognize this area. And then this place... Uh, I'm not too sure where this is. This might be... This might be Aliahan or something like that. Not too sure. Uh, but there you can see the... Uh, female, or I think type B hero, they're calling it now. Uh, we'll get into that a little bit later as well. The inside of a weapon shop. Fantastic. Okay, and then while in Japan, Sack Chief noticed that the Weekly Jump magazine had a featured article on Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D Remake. Here's a clearer look of the designs of the characters, and they're called Looks A and Looks B here in Japanese, so in English it's type A, type B, not much of a difference. They decided to go that route instead of male-female, but they are being voiced by a male and a female, at least in Japanese. They did announce who the voice actors are. The female, I believe, is Videl's voice actress from the Dragon Ball Z series. Uh, the male or type A character, I'm not too sure who the voice actor there is. I'm not a big anime guy. This just says, basically, Erdrick's story begins, or Roto's story begins. So we got a shot here showing that the warrior and... I'm assuming also the martial artist and the monster master are all going to have skills as we were kind of speculating based on the fact that they had MP in previous trailers and stuff like that. But this article here 100% confirms it. You've got a couple different attacks. The warrior here has got access to both spear and sword abilities. So I'm guessing depending on what weapons you equip him with, he'll be able to use different abilities. Um, so he's got the Mercur Mercurial Thrust, which is a spear ability, Double Edge Slash, which is a sword ability, and Pressure Pointer, which is also a spear ability. There's a few different abilities listed here, uh, some of which are familiar uh, and some of which uh, I can't 
tell. I believe that's the Monster Master right there, and the Warrior looks fantastic. You can't see him very well because of the skills overlay on top of him there, but uh, he looks really, really badass from behind anyways. Monsters showing up in towns now, so I don't know if this has anything to do with the Monster Master, if he's going to be able to interact with these guys and gain either skills from them or be able to recruit them or whatnot, we're not too sure, but there are going to be monsters in towns now, and whether they're good monsters or bad monsters, we have no idea. So this is all that's been confirmed so far in the latest issue of Jump Magazine. As far as speculation goes, I'm really hoping now that we have the reveal of the skill points and stuff like that, and the job classes having MP, I really hope that the merchant gets some love with some new abilities, as well as the thief, and I'm hoping the martial artist gets like multi-fist and stuff like that, those are always incredible attacks. I also hope they're adding new depth to it, you got different skills based on the different weapons that you might be using for each job class. So part of me is hoping that the vocation system works similar to what Dragon Quest 9 and 10 use, where each job class has a set of different skill trees, each of them based on their weapon, and then the bottom one based on on the job class itself, giving them specific abilities while they're in that class, as well as getting stat increases that carry across all classes. That would be absolutely incredible if we got that. If we don't get it, not the biggest deal, but it would be awesome to have. Another thing that people have been noticing and pointing out, this is a spoiler for Dragon Quest XI, by the way, so if you haven't beaten Dragon Quest XI, you haven't beaten both sets of credits, after you beat Dragon Quest XI, the credits will roll, and then you've got a third of the game left. I don't know why it's technically considered like the post-game, but actually it's like the last third of the game, and you get the true ending and all that. If you haven't done that yet, stop the video now. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, turn notifications to all. I'll catch you guys in the next video. If you have completed Dragon Quest XI, I've got a little bit of news for you. People have noticed that the intro to Dragon Quest III HE2 to remake has the book of the story of Dragon Quest XI in the background. And it literally is put there. It's that red book on the shelf in the background. People have been pointing this out, and I just wanted to let you guys know, for anyone who didn't know yet, that uh, they're definitely making that connection a little bit stronger, making making the, uh, the storyline fit together even tighter than it already was. So that's fantastic news as well. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. If you want to hang out live, I stream every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, and I also do Dragon Quest X streams on Saturday mornings. So come hang out, I stream here on YouTube as well as twitch.tv slash 3 Join the Discord if you'd like, the link is down in the description, and you guys have a fantastic rest of your day.